What's good, Homie Squad? It's your boy, Homie Ziggy. We back here with another four piece reaction for y'all. And hey, we got we got Mir, we got Slick, we got Nerdo, and we got to end it off, Dizzy Yay. So hey, y'all already know this four piece, and it's like this, sir. I gotta say, there's two of these songs and such. Let's just say, sir. Because there were two, two, basically two of these songs were on Valent, were released on Valentine's Day, and I did want to do it on that specific day, but I figured, let's face it, I guess it's just a little spoiler. For two of these songs, they're mostly like how it was supposed to, like how it was released on Valentine's Day, but let's face it, it's always gonna, no matter if it's Valentine's Day or what. It relates to relationships why so either way it doesn't matter it's still gonna be fire regardless so the first song we got we got Mir Blackwell with married couple featuring Diggs the prophecy so we about to check this first one out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and without further ado let's get in the video cut that bitch off okay you gotta blame the ethics for this, but like, like, I'm back like we never left. You already know what we do on these joints, so look. See, sometimes we fight like married couples, but you still missing me. I think we meant to be my hardest where it's meant to be, cause you might learn a little bit about me off this industry. We play like it's a game and we keep love like it's a victory. I showed you all my history, still doing the repeated. I could have two left feet, I'm still gonna move like I mean, and I'm never the smoothest and cleanest, but with you if I need it. I know being friends is cool, but I like you as my queen, and if you can believe it, you ain't even gotta crazy thing is what two guys better to have it like with Diggs and Mir because let's face it these two is basically like this if you're a friend of these two in nerdcore they're like the guys who know how to get them waifus them white you can say they're the waifu snatchers <laughs> Then waifu snatchers, I guess. It's all tonight. I just hit you up the exit to be mine tonight. Your body got me on for sight, but now I'm inside your mind tonight. Baby got me booked, I need the match to try to find the light. Cause shorty love the cadence in the way that I move. Shit was getting hot, but I'm gonna keep the vibe cool. Still get checked on by these chicks from high school. Only hit you back if that shit's the right move. Somewhere in between, not Jets and I do's. Somewhere in between six foot and five two. She mad at me cause I get watched by waifus. I'm trying to slide if you give me the time to. Yeah, we fight like married couples, baby, I slide through I seen niggas switch up, I never hide my boo I'm too far, I seen niggas try to eye my moves And eye my boo, all the matters is that I like you Cause the chick that make my soul smile is high profile I know this shit might go well if I go south We go through high lows, now we find no doubt Hit the mic and I zone, now my life's so wild I tell she really dig it, she love me in my pro style Shorty is a theme, about to suck my whole soul out Love it, how she queen, and I can only be so proud Put the D on it, but I'm clean, I give no Mm, put the D on her, but I'm clean. I give no fouls. Talk that football play. What you mean? Talk that. Hey, and like I, like I said before, if you haven't go check out my reaction to where I did the Stupendium's first episode of Unlikely Cyphers, which was the Muppets, which you can go check out right there. I said this before. Just because, and so, with certain songs or ciphers, even though when they have a little comedy or so in there and such, don't don't act like they don't still provide providing you with the bars. Cause the way how he just put that together so clean and like and such. Like, come on, man. Really dig it. She love me in my pro style. Shorty is a theme about to suck my whole soul out. Love it how she queen and I can only be so proud. Put the D on it, but I'm clean. I give no foul. We fall like married couples, but she with it. So whether we together or not, she let me hit it. See, we working on this time or not. And we gon' get it, but until the day we stir in the pot, that's how we live and see we on a different way. I gotta say, I wanna see who made this beat. Hold on, I wanna see who made this beat. Produced by Never Tempered and it was mixed by Mir. Hey, shout out. Hey, Mir, shout out to you. You mix this beat very well. Being the crazy, and I'm known to hit and slay like 40 different ways. She gon' call me to say hey, and lo me in the maze. Then she throw it on me great. I've always been amazed, but we not a married couple though. I still love it though. Basically, we knock us cause we always undercover. So I just need to. Mm, but basically, we knock us, we always just undercovers. 
her. Mm, okay. Chopping the gun. Hey. All I gotta say is with Mir and Diggs, they're like the perfect duo of like I just say the waifu snatchers. Cause what can I say? It's based and plus with this, this is definitely a song you can put out. You can definitely put out like for any club. Put this song at a club and trust me. If it's basically like this once if you hear this at a club and all I'm gonna say is this, if you are single, if you're in or if you're in one of those open relationships where even though both of y'all are married, y'all still cool with wanna go with y'all wanna basically if y'all are swingers as they call that, what I'm hearing and such, where it's called swingers where even though y'all married, y'all both want to go mess with other people and such, and y'all still cool with it. If you if you ain't, if you ain't one of those two, if you are one of those two, I mean to say, then this song right here, especially when it's talking about married couple, then definitely if you're the one with the open, if you're the two with the open relationships. This is definitely for y'all. Away, that's you the in the craze, and I'm known to hit and slay. Like 40 different ways, she gon' call me to say hey. And lo me in the maze, then she throw it on me great. I've always been amazed, but we not a married couple though. I still love it though. Basically, we knock us cause we always undercover. So I just need a reason, got a fiend and I'm in trouble. So nothing get between us, she demean us when we fucking know. I know, ain't that crazy? The way it's going, I should date this lady. I gotta show it, man, I can't be lazy. The way it's looking, this can't be a maybe. Here we fight like married couple, fuck it, cause we fuck a lot. Shorty had me running through a wall, I feel like juggernaut. We deal with all our problems in the bed, is when the trouble stop. The neighbors gonna be knocking on the walls until the rumble stops. Cause, cause let's put it like married couples, I mean. <laughs> we back. <laughs> and we out. Shout out to Mir. I gotta say this, shout out to Mir and shout out to Dix, man. This, the waifu snatchers of nerdcore. That's all. If anyhow, when I see these two again on a song, yeah, I mean, these two are known now for to me as the waifu snatchers. So if you have a problem with that, oh well. But now we got my guy Slick. Shout out to Otaku Underworld, you already know. And this one, if I'm not mistaken, was on... Yep, was on Valentine's Day, February 14th, so, hey, sorry if I just got to it, but, hey, Slick, you already know with me, better late than never. So, we got Slick with Sunshine Girl 2, featuring ASAP the King, so, let's get it. Uh, Otaku Underworld. <laughs> Seems like you feel God, huh? What I told you the last time. <laughs> Memory. Uh, don't cry. Take my hand. Now let's go. I do not know why. If you did not know, you still my sunshine girl. Why? If I told you once, then I told you twice. Don't cry. Baby, take my hand. I'ma make sure that you fly. Like that. I feel like talking because you're mine <laughs> No family, I was lonely You showed me love like you owe me I had to kill off the old me yeah. For you I had to change The one thing I love with Slick And it's the same thing with Contrast It's like Their artistry of how to Or not even the sense of artistry Just in the way how they can It's basically like this with a certain artist, not just rapper or artist. Nine times out of ten, you always feel like you're boxed in a certain genre and such that you have to stick to that genre. With Slick, he can do drill, he can do R&B, he can do hip hop. You like hip hop, hip hop? Hell, he, I see he can do pop and such. It's basically like this. With Slick, give him any type of beat and such. Like any type of mood, 
that the song is supposed to be in and trust me he's gonna he's gonna capture it within instinct because a lot of a lot of artists don't be able to do that because they will see like nah I mostly just do I mostly do hip-hop which is cool like I say right sorry but if you're an artist and such right you want to make sure if and you be want to reach many up uh, many people as you can you gotta do different you gotta at least test out different genres that you might want to dive into because you never know even though you say you might be great at drilling such like that you never know if you come in if you do a little like a little, little bit of hip-hop and such and a little bit of like R&B and such in a way and hey add, just adding a little dip of your anime like a little dip of drill who knows you could st you could be good at drill means you could it basically you can do a combination right there so so point is what I'm trying to say is with Slick just give him any type of mood or song you want it to be and instantly like that he's gonna do it right <laughs> I need you right by my side. Thought that I'm out so moving like that. I feel like talking because you're mine. <laughs> no family, I was lonely. You showed me love like it owed me. I had to kill off the old me. Yeah, for you I had to change. Shit is not the same. I'm so much better, babe. And I'm so glad that he fucked up. Cause I locked up. All it took was one time. Feel I'm so Only girl I can't get out of my And with the bars too. Okay, Seb, I saw you right there. Automatically came with a bar. Feel like her, cause shorty, you, you're all mine. Spy and family. All it took was one time. Feel like I'm shorty, you're mine. Only girl I can't get out of my mind. It's been raining, I told her don't cry. Control the waters and not the sunshine. We fly away from all the pain. We royalty, new rain ahead. I feel the breeze. I know you remember what I said I do not know why If you did not know you still my sunshine girl Why? If I told you once then I told you twice but cry Baby take my hand I'ma make sure that you fly Girl I know I'ma make you mine Why? Baby I said I'ma make you mine Why? Ain't no reason Sleek, man, you know. But now we got nerd out with the con of the conqueror, con the conqueror rap song, conquer you all. From uh, Ant Man and the Wasp. I'm guessing this. Let me see what. Let me look at the description for this. And I'm reading it. So if y'all don't like it, too bad. Con was the best thing about the new movie Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. Yeah, so it is. So it is like a show. Then I thought, to be honest, I thought it was gonna be like a freaking game, but whatever. We finally get to see more of Khan the Conqueror in the MCU. Without giving any spoilers, what do you think of the movie? That we like? So name is gonna be rapping, okay? Produced by Omar came up, okay? All right, let's get it. <laughs> Insanity, thinking that they could just banish me With all of this time that I put in and hands that I put out They can just abandon me Never that, I triumph I won't be living vicarious And if you think that I'm evil Just wait until you meet my variants I'm astronomical, brings the Saturn on the fingers Orion's belt around the waist I put Polaris in the earlobe Use a constellation as a cape So how in God's name could you ever expect to survive if I challenge you? Hold up, get in the head of yourself. I call that a time traveler. My story. Mmm, get in the head of yourself. I call it a time traveler. Mmm, okay. One thing with Nem, the one thing I love with Nem and such is the way how he sets up certain bars and such. 
like sets it up and the punchline always hits. Never my challenger, hold up, get in the head of yourself. I call that a time traveler. My story, you know I am the man. Pick a side of jaw, I line in the sand. You can try to fight me for a millennium, I ain't got nothing but time on my hands. Just because you and me are mortal enemies, you probably thinking that I am the villain, but I am the main guy. A mental organism designed only for killing. Your mind new, I'm squishing you ass while I'm driving my boots into the pavement. How can I lose when I'm nine moves ahead of you and your whole operation? Somebody told you that I got a weakness, but like a watch, you just need to face it. You ain't gotta tell time to know that that's secondhand information. Are you going to go? Mm, you don't need a watch to tell time to know that secondhand information, second hands on the clock. Hold on, that's how you said it? But just like a watch, you need face it. You ain't gotta tell time to know that that's secondhand information. Are you going to go? Is whenever nerd out either like doing a song for either a game or a movie and such nine times out of ten especially if it's a movie because knowing how it's always the songs are always going to be fire right i always want to feel and basically anybody else any other nerdcore artist that whenever they're doing like a movie or other search i always want to know if the way Cause I'm always saying like if the song is that fire from inspired by that certain movie is the movie itself fire or is the anime itself fire and such right so sometimes y'all don't be thinking I don't want to watch certain such or watch the certain movies or animes that whenever they're doing a song of trust me I'll be I be, I, trust me, I be thinking about it. So trust me, what? Cause remember, when I was started my journey on this, right? Every time when I'm hearing a One Piece song, right? And they be fire, right? What happens? I end up watching One Piece. I stopped for a little while, but I was currently. But remember, I end up watching One Piece when they was doing Attack on Titans. What happened? Started watching that. When they was doing Jujutsu Kaisen, what happened? Started watching that too. So trust me. Hell, Demon Slayer, when he was doing a lot of that, started watching that too. So trust me when I tell you this. Basically with me, anytime when I find something that is intriguing, I like to want to do it. I want to experience it for myself. Because y'all may say it's fire. But the thing is with me, anytime when certain people say that it's cert a certain thing is fire and such, like it's it's crazy awesome and whatnot. That's y'all opinion, but I won't know until I figure out for myself. So, yeah. I going to go but there's no way of me trying to question their music. That's not what I'm saying. Are you all, no matter the the I'm the movie or not. Sanity for thinking that you could handle me. How disarm you with the wave, meaning you won't even lay your hand on me. You're probably thinking, How can it be? Trying different tactics, mission needs to be aborted. Your plan B will not work. You just need to leave the earth. You need a planet B. This is invanity. I am the main character. You're just a small portion of the storyline, a side quest of my journey. So why would I ever be scared of you? That is hilarious. You're just a small guy, small fry, and I'm in the kitchen to cook. You wrote an autobiography, but you got mad because I took a piss in your book. Listen, this is how it's gonna be. I will erase your name from history. Face it, you're really out of your league. You got what it takes? We finna see. I'll just sit back and watch you struggle. Take a look and see how big your ego can inflate. No matter how big you are, still a small fish in a big pond. I can't relate. Hope Still a small fish in a big mm. nice little nice little way of putting like you're a big you always hear the saying you're a big fish in a little bitty pond but I'm a but you're but saying that you're a small fish in a big pond mm, okay 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 Plate. No matter how big you are, still a small fish in a big pond. I can't relate. Hopelessness, something you couldn't fathom, but also something you can't escape. You cannot hurt me. You sort of like someone try to play mercy with the hands of fate. Oh, we having fun now. Clock you right in your face, just to show you how time flies when you find. Mm. Just clock you in the face, just to show you how time flies. Mm, okay, clock. Sorry if y'all hear dogs and such. But hey, like I say, with name, 
Nim always gonna have that factor about him that whenever he sets up a bar, it's always gonna hit. Same thing with Schwabity. The hands of fate, or we having fun now. Clock you right in your face, just to show you how time flies. When you finally come down, they gonna bury your body in a different timeline. Shout out to Nerd Out, shout out to Nim and such on that. I might watch, I don't know. Like I said, I'm skeptical because you, you guys know me. At the end of the day, when I see that a cer certain people always want to keep on doing songs of a certain show and such, it's basically like this. First, the last time whenever a certain, if y'all remember, right? Back in Sep it, like a little around September, right? When Cyber, sorry if I'm picking my nose, it is what it is. But when Cyberpunk Edge Runners came out, right? And it was on Netflix. How many, do you know how many songs were there? And it was on, it was like this. It dropped on September 18th, right? And whenever, and, you, and it's 10 episodes. But it was so, but the show itself, trust me, I've watched it. It's fire. Believe me. Basically what I'm saying, the last is like this. The last time there was like this big abundance of nerdcore music f inspired from cyber from edge runners was like Jujutsu Kaisen, right? So trust me. Once you know what anime is that good and it's that fire, it's not about if when your fans want you to do make a song about it and such. Trust me. You know it's fire. You know the anime inspired when you yourself has watched it. And that's why you very be inspired by it. So, hey. You gotta peep sometimes. But either way now, to end off this four piece, we got Dizzy 8 no, with Ice. Official Bleach AMV. You know, already know it. Hey. One thing I, what we always, one thing I gotta say with Dizzy 8. Yeah, you, you had to realize. Sooner or later, he would have to. Well, who am I kidding? This is is like this with Dizzy Eight, especially in the realm of nerdcore. If Dizzy Eight had to be one specific character, one specific anime character, it had to be Aizen. It just has to be. No matter if it's gonna be in a cipher of swordsmen or whatnot, or if it's gonna be in a rap battle where he did with Rustage. When it was Mother versus Aizen, it would, it's basically like this. It would not be right for Dizzy not to be Aizen. Because he has always said, if you, if you're any, if anyhow Aizen is involved in a cipher, no matter what it's called, he has to be Aizen. So let me go down in the description real quick. It's just me silly telling about what Aizen is and such. But hey. Regardless, put this back, let's go. Nolan, you did that! <laughs> and I gotta say, it's part of the plan. Ay, it's part of the plan. They don't really understand. They just wanna see my end for real. You don't really want that dance for real. Promise you don't stand a chance for real. Nah, nah. It's really gotten out of hand for real. But you ain't never seen my hand for real. You cannot prove me. You're not my king. I can't let you come and use me. I'm not no fool, don't you get that confused? I know you, yeah. I see the truth exposed. But y'all blocked to the that you want. If you know what I know, things are not enough, like it's gonna be wrong. You ain't mad enough when you had enough, you gon' rise and walk on my road. I had to go from left to right to pan it out, now I got the sheep in the panic now. I know it might seem like I'm your enemy, why can't you just see that we on the same team? Oh, you don't like me, but you're just like me, yeah. yeah. Hey, you already know.
already know, Dizzy, we've always said this, Dizzy is like the total package when it comes to making a song. He can make a song, he can rap, he can sing, and the fact that he can also produce very well. One thing is like this, y'all forget, Dizzy is a real artist artist right here. Some artists out there may pretend it, but not. But Dizzy, and the fact is, Dizzy, what really amazes me, right, is the fact that, and I know why, oh, it's like this. Well, now, with parents, they always want to say, whenever a certain artists curse on their song or whatnot, especially my parents, they always get on me about this, that, oh, just because they curse in, does he have to do that? Do you have to censor it or whatnot? Look, all I can say is for me personally, does it matter? Does it matter? You know how many curse you know how many people curse when they're not a rapper or so? So what difference does it make if he's singing it? What makes it what difference does it make if the person is singing it or rapping it? But the fact is with Dizzy, the fact that with him, he doesn't have to curse in order to kill you on a song, that what made amazed me the most. Cause a lot of people could just write, come in here just rapping, oh you effing this, oh you mother at this and that or that. But Dizzy, all he has to say, all he got to do, and plus he's Christian, but what up, oh, this is what my little grab is too, right? Just because you're a Christian, right? That, does, that should not stop you from wanting to always keep on having your lit life. Because, like I said, I know I'm Christian too, right? But that doesn't stop me from living how I always live. It's not going to change who I am. I just only know the difference between what's right and what's wrong. Simple as that. Can't you just see that we on the same team? Oh, you don't like me, but you're just like me, yeah, yeah. Only difference, I ain't cattle. Fighting in the wrong battle. Begging I'm free, but I'm shackled. When I see the snakes, I ain't rattled. Oh, no, I ain't rattled. Well, you know what's coming, ain't no need for fun and stunning We the ones that get it handled like It's part of the plan, they don't really understand They just wanna see my end for real You don't really want that dance for real Promise you don't stand a chance for real, nah, nah It's really gotten out of hand for real But you ain't never seen my hand for real You cannot try to do that there be a lot of people in this world try to want to get a control of certain people or certain things and such but in the end with one mess up that's gonna go the cool bit and that's stupid truth is you had something you were trying to prove it that was useless fight hard for control when you about to lose it like mask up but i know the real you think your head something that i still do And not only about Isaac, because it's like this, I haven't, it's not to say I'm not watching Bleach, but I haven't ca caught up yet. But trust me, that's, it's basically like this, with these nerdcore songs and certain scenes and such, it kind of let me learn. It's making me learn. If y'all don't, th that's another thing with these nerdcore songs. A lot of people want to talk about, oh, it's made and such. Nah, not to me. Because one, 
if you got a rank of how uh, anime weeb is or whatnot, let's face it, I'm a rookie. I'm a rookie. I'm a rookie in knowing about anime. Sorry. Because it's not like I was obsessed with it and such. Remember, I didn't even know what anime was at the time. All I know is just cartoons from cartoons. Which you can say is still, in a way, nerdy or whatnot. But me personally, I never considered it like in a realm of being nerd or whatnot. But then sooner or later when I see like nerdcore songs coming here and such, the new internet wave and such, and it still is. And the fact that with most songs that inspired by certain animes, and I'm like wondering, what the hell, what the hell is this anime? But hey, it is what it is, so I may be a noob at this, but it's never too late for me. Wait, it's crazy who hated, I gotta rely on me. What's meant for me and other the line, he didn't know, now you know it's part of the plan. They don't really understand. They just wanna see my end for real. You don't really want to dance for real. Promise you don't stand a chance for real, nah, nah. It's really gotten out of hand for real, but you ain't never seen my hand for real. You cannot prove me. You're not my king. I can't let you come and use me. I'm not no fool, don't you get that confused? I know you. Shout out to Dizzy, shout out to everybody on this four piece reaction, man. Y'all came through and did y'all thing. And hey, if you made it this far in this four piece reaction, that means you're a real humble squad member. Comment down below. Comment down below, Eisen. And that makes me know that you reached this far. Comment down below, Eisen, and I'll give you a little heart and such. But yeah, like I said, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. It's been your boy, Homebiz Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.